<clears throat> hey everyone, um, so I'm going to take you through some um, stretches that you can be doing. Um, I'll show you a couple of options, so um, ones that you can do before you do some workouts or ones you can do after your workout. So generally it just depends on, on uh, what are you doing in the workout and how long you hold them for. Okay, so basically what you want to remember is that before you do a workout we want to be dynamic okay we want to be moving through it you don't want to be holding stretches too long in a position okay because that stretches out the muscle and we want to make sure just to get the muscle nice and warmed up for the workout um so look we'll start firstly with the shoulders okay so um if you're going to get ready for a workout okay um you can start off pretty easily um in what we call puppy dog position okay so your hips are high up over your knees okay just totally from the side so hips high up over the knees and then you're going to reach out your hands and letting the head come down towards the ground okay so you can hold this one for maybe you know 10 to 30 seconds so you can dynamically move through it so letting your body come down reaching towards the ground and up again and letting your body come back down again okay um if you were to hold that then maybe after a workout really really nice one to open up through the shoulders and chest okay um especially if you're sitting at a desk maybe you know you're working from home maybe your desk isn't ideally set up to what it would be in work and maybe a bit more rounded through the shoulders okay so i want to make sure you get them nice and opened up so again in that position arms up nice and wide letting the body fall down you put your forehead on the mat or try to your chin okay you could spend maybe a minute two minutes down in that position okay really good again to get those shoulders nice and open up um another nice one i love to do uh, is just your child's pose so feet together knees out to the edge of the mat hips back on the heels and then let those arms stretch out in front of you and let your head fall down to the mat really nice relaxing position gets the chest opened up and also decompresses the lower back and it's just a nice relaxing position that can be done at the end um, of the day maybe before bed taking 10 to 15 minutes just to spend some time stretching the body okay um we might all get a bit of cabin fever over the next couple of weeks okay so it's really 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 important that we do some self-care and look after our bodies during this time okay um so there's just two basic ones to start with um another one you can do is i love i love to think of all these different names so you remember them thread the needle um so pretty much what we're going to do is thread the arm through under the other arm so on all fours you're going to reach your right arm right through under your left arm trying if we can to get this part of your arm to the mat if we can't maybe have something ready maybe have a blanket or something here that we can lean down to okay so reaching your arm through all the way through looking through to the other side so here we get a nice twist through our spine okay we get a nice stretch through our deltoid so those muscles here on the top part of your arm getting a nice stretch through there okay if you go into that dynamically before you do a workout you just reach through back up to all fours reach through to the other side and back up to all fours getting a nice gentle twist to the spine don't rush it listen to your body if you need to spend a second or two longer here that's fine and come back up again what i don't want you to jolt through and get a sharp twist through the spine it should be nice and relaxed okay um so that's a nice way to get the back nice and warmed up as well as the shoulders before a workout and um, if you want to do it at the end of the workout again again you hold that for maybe a minute um just relaxing into it letting the body fall into it okay don't push your body and um, if you find that this is very awkward down here leaning on the mat then don't push your body to hold it rise up a bit just get that stretch okay you don't have to get the body fully down to the mat okay so that's thread the needle it does exactly what it says in the tin threading your arm through um, another one I like to call twisted cross. Okay, so you're going to lie face down on the mat with your arms out to the side. Okay, so I'll try and talk to the camera, not to the mat. <laughs> Bear with me. So lying down on the ground, face down, arms out, stretch nice and wide. Okay, so what we're going to do, I'm going to leave my right arm with my palm facing down. You can't see it, it's off camera, but I'm palm facing down. I'm going to place my left arm here on the ground. And then all I'm going to do is open up my body towards my right arm. So I lift up my leg and I'm going to open up my body. Now, this may be as far as you can go. That is absolutely fine. You're stretching here through your pec muscles, okay? So you don't want to overstretch it. You want to push your body again to a very uncomfortable position, okay? But you use this arm as a bit of leverage. So if you find that this is okay, and you want to push your body slightly bit more, that's absolutely fine. Get a nice stretch through there, okay? Now, again, 
if you're doing this at the end of the workout at the end of the day maybe hold for a minute or so okay and um, if you're doing it before a workout short maybe 10 seconds holding that position and then letting the body slowly come back down to the mat change size press the hand into the mat and open up the other side 10 seconds again and maybe try to go through one more each time so that's dynamic fee. that's before a workout again if you find that you're driving a lot or you're hunched over that's really going to help open up those shoulders okay so there are a few nice stretches okay so what we went through there was your puppy dog you can look back through the video your child's pose twisted cross and thread the needle um nice opening through the shoulder uh, another nice one to do for your lap muscles okay is nice one we can do with a foam roller or you can do without a foam roller so if you don't have a foam roller at home that's fine i'll show you without first um and then i'll show you with the foam roller so you're going to go on all fours i think i'll show this one from the side so you want to come down on all fours okay you're going to put your left arm just here on the knee you're going to lean down on it and then you'll put this right arm out front so with your side of the palm facing down towards the ground and from here you're just going to let your body fall down okay towards the ground so this gets a nice stretch through your lat muscles here those big muscles there at the side okay holding this position for 30 seconds if you're getting ready for a workout okay nice and strong and then you're going to change so change sides just put this arm down here and leaning down into it lovely lovely stretch right through here now if you want a bit more depth okay you can get a foam roller place the wrist there on the foam roller hard to get this in the camera angle um but from there you're going to press into it and let the body come right down into it okay so pressing down into that for 30 seconds and then what I want to try to do is change it up slightly is not to actually lift the wrist but slightly try and lift the wrist off the foam roller holding that for 10 seconds and relax so you should feel that all through there okay and um, really nice stretch again and really nice activation actually this one's very very good for activating your body before you get a workout in okay so for push-ups if you're doing any kind of overhead position um if you're doing any dumbbell work over the next while okay and in general if you want to just get a nice activation and working mobility through your shoulders okay we find a lot of people are hunched over a lot and whether it's driving whether it's at a computer um and we don't get that nice mobility then now is the time that we can work through this mobility together okay so um now is the time to start opening up our shoulders and um, opening up our chests okay making sure our shoulder joints are nice and healthy Okay, so that's our shoulder joints. I will go on through, through more parts of the body and through more stretches.